Hey guys, Zelonius here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. It's a new month, so we're doing our tier list. And my word, there are some crazy, crazy cards in the game right now. It's going to be pretty damn hard, I think, to separate some of these. I'm going to have to be very harsh. There's going to be some very, very good cards in B tier. I would say at this point, again, B tier are there about end game. Like you wouldn't need to change them. That's how good some of these cards are. Um, the main things I'm going to be looking for are centre backs. Are going to be things like anticipate, aerial, uh, jockey's pretty good. Even things like quick step are pretty nice as well. Uh, blocks pretty good. Fullback, I like rapid, quick step, whip pass. Then some of the usual defender like block, anticipate. Even passive ones are pretty good now that a lot of players have four play styles. Um, so yeah. As always, I rate the cards purely based on how good I think they are. There's no bias, or try not to be. Um, there's no nothing to do with the price, it's just what I think of the card. Calavar, we're going to go B. Very good, but a bit small, lacks it a couple of bits. Captavia, I'm going to go ST. I think he's a bit near as good as it gets. Poch, I'm going to go C. Very good still, though. Montil, I'm going to go A. Danso, a card that is pretty damn good. Like, if you look at this card, he's got all the play styles you want other than anticipate. And then his stats are absolutely insane. But without anticipate, I'm going to probably have him like low A to Poyol. Carlos Poyol again, a bit small, lacks in a couple of areas, a bit clunky than some of the others. Probably going to have a B. Desai, going to have A. This Vasquez B. Ursig, how tall is she? I don't really know this card. 5'9, but with aerial. It's got some good stuff about her, but lacks in areas that for a centre back. Nice one is a pretty good fullback. We'll start probably C. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. D. Well, Norman, probably low A. I think that card's honestly very good. Carlos is pretty obvious. S tier, in my opinion. Thiago Silva, B. He has a bad pace split, which really hurts the card. Cordoba, B. Komen, low A. So I'm going to put Coburn high B. I think my team is just a bit small. So I'm going to put Walker high A, but he probably gets to S. Zambrotta, A is 5'5. Five five. Low B. Scrinral, Scrinial, B. Johnston, B. There's going to be a lot of B in here. A. High B. Vanderven, A. Some crazy pace on some of these cards, by the way. Vanderven having like 93 pace. Um, on a centre back, I mean, there's even quicker than those. Isn't there? A lot of it at this point is nearly purely just play styles and body types, because pretty much every card has high nineties on every start when you, especially when you put a chem style on. Kirio probably a better centre back. Cafu definitely an S tier. Like we look at Cafu, he's got four of the best play styles in the game. He's 90 plus on everything except shooting, which is still amazing. That he's a fullback. Can I A to Cavalio? Probably low A. He's very good. He's just a little small compared to the others. Lizaru, high B. Gomez, high A to. This Gomez card's very good. I don't think he's anticipated that. No, but some really good stats. I don't think I've seen this Barrow I was interested in S Aerial Rapid. Not bad. Pretty good card for free. Uh, Maldini, obvious S tier. Rudiger at this point, probably high B. Militao, S tier. Ruben Diaz, probably high A. Vardio, high B. Ashley Cole, I'm going to put really high up. I think Cole is pretty spectacular. Yeah, if he gets him a fourth play style, then he's probably S tier. It's a good one, that is. Vidic, high A tier. Carvajal, high A. Ramos, mid B at this point. Frankowski, C. Mendy. Three fullbacks in there. I'm going to put Carlson 
A to Z effects is quite small. This Mendy though, we're looking quick step jockey, long ball, very good. Five star week for ground the ball. Again, 90 plus and everything, 91 plus and everything. He's just a ridiculous card. Trent, as a mid, as a step, uh, fullback, probably B. As a centre mid, probably A. Gabriel, high A. You know, Mendes, low A. Bastoni, I'm still having a mess to. Still think this card's crazy. Like, if you look at the card, Bastoni's 6 3. He's got near perfect passing for a centre back. His physical and defending are near maxed out with a shadow. Um, to be honest, probably put Carlos on him, I don't know. Yeah, he's got near 99 pace. He's a little clunky, but he's 6 3. He's lent for the card's crazy. Saliba, obvious S2 for me. Zanetti, high A tier. Nkapi B, he's a bit small, I think. Bonucci, low A. It's just fitting him in. Grimaldo, this point, probably low A. DeMarco, low A. Theo, high A tier. I think he's fallen off some of the other ones a bit. If you look at Theo, as good as the card is, there's no rapid whip pass, not five star weak foot. Um, it's a fantastic card still, though, nonetheless. You can defend away, it's a bit lower than some of the others, too. High B for Karchawi. Davies, high A tier. A lot of very good fullbacks, in particular left backs. Carl's probably mid tier. We'd get high up. Raho's pretty high A tier for me. Rimpong, really high up. Probably put him in as S tier. And then Van Dyke, pretty obviously S tier for me. Like, if we look at Virgil, 7 million coins. Like, who is paying that? I don't understand how some of these cards get to the price they do. But Virgil, he's got Anticipate. It's what you want. He's got Long Ball, really nice for a centre back. Slide Tackle, not the best, but it's good. Block's amazing. He doesn't have Aerial, but he's 6 foot 4 with 99 jump and a normal Aerial. Really nice. Um, I think after the next appearance, this Van Dyke as well goes to a 99. He'll be playing the next game. So this Van Dyke's going to be a 99 centre back soon. Ridiculous, absolutely crazy card. I'll have near 99 pace at that point. Um, this guy's an absolute monster. You'll absolutely feel his presence in the game. I feel like a lot of these cards, honestly, I'm maybe being harsh on, but it's so hard to differentiate cards at this point. So many of these cards, if you compare them side by side, are near identical stats wise when you put chemistry cards on. It's more just the play styles, body types, which a lot of that is a bit more opinionated than pure stats. I appreciate you all tuning in, still watching content on the channel. Um, I, I'll be honest, I'm not playing the game quite as much as I was. I'm keeping up on content, logging in, seeing what's going on with that. But I'm taking, I'm slowing things down a little bit before the next EA FC game comes out, where I'll be full steam ahead again. As always, appreciate the support of the channel. Appreciate you all tuning in. Keep it spicy. I do hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.